What's up guys? Welcome back. What's up guys? Welcome back. Um, so we're finally here. Elden Ring. Not even arguably. I can't, I can't even say arguably. This is probably one of the most anticipated games, you know, for the past few years. You know, we've been waiting, we've been waiting. We've been, well, y'all probably been waiting. Now, let me, before I begin, let me perfect um let me say i'm not the biggest um like uh, let me say i'm not the best <laughs> what's up guys we are finally here you guys probably didn't expect this video um at all because i am not like i am not one of the biggest um souls gamers now i have beaten dark souls 3 but that's it um I've gotten halfway into Demon Souls, but um, that game's, I mean, it's not hard or anything. I just kind of, not dropped it, but I have so many other games to play. I just kind of put it on the back burner, but I'm going to go back to it. But, um, yeah, the only Souls games I've played is Dark Souls 3. I beat that one, uh, I think, two years ago. Since then, yeah. I mean, it's been, it's been a rocky road with these type of games. So, when I do play, like I said, when I do play... Don't expect me to be like fighting cowboy. Like fighting cowboy is great. Now he's a he's one of those souls players that I really watch a lot, and it's like wow. But um, yeah. So don't don't expect that. This is very I don't want to say novice, but very intermediate. Um, just because I don't really play these type of games too much. I love the lore. I just love the I love the game. But um, yeah. So. Definitely want to get into this. Let's go. Now, I do not know which character I want to play as yet. I I haven't even decided that, honestly. Um, I'm thinking about... Um, well, first. Okay, first. Let me, let me prioritize. Uh, okay, so I think this is performance. For, yeah, performance. This is a 60... Um, because I'm currently playing on the Xbox Series S. I would be playing on the PlayStation 5, but my cousin has a place, my cousin has an Xbox, and he wants to play with me, so I just copped on the Xbox. I mean, it's really whatever. Let's see, new game, prioritize frame rates. I, I know that on the Xbox, it goes up to 60. Wait, okay. It ranges from around 45 to 55. Which honestly, as long as it's not 30, and I don't mind, I don't really mind, you know. Let's, I think this is good. Um, now when I do play this game, I'm, I I might I might stream it, but the thing is, is that it'll be kind of be like Hades. Um, it'll kind of be like Hades in a way. Um, the way like I'll record audio, f I'll record um, like me talking for the first two three episodes and after that it'll just be me playing because this isn't an actual series to me you know what i mean this is just a game that i'm just playing right now and i'm just gonna upload whenever i do play it or whenever i feel like up, um streaming it or whatever and just um drop the odd uh, drop the gameplay on the channel but yeah like i said i don't know what i want to do yet um now i know on demon souls i was a um well, I had a magic build. I forgot what the build was called, though. The name of it. Um, but I was that build. And, I mean, it was fairly easy. Because, obviously, you can do long-range attacks. And I kind of like that more, honestly. But, you know, for people who haven't played this game. Let's go into the, each of the um, type of classes that they have. Because, when I came to this game, I wanted to come in, like, really just not knowing anything. Um, so I haven't looked at much gameplay. I haven't looked at much classes. I do know do know about the Vagabond just because of its great attire. So I know. All right. So let's see. So you start off level nine, fifteen vigor, mind ten, endurance eleven, strength fourteen. All right. So we definitely need to think about um, the endurance, especially, and the dexterity, and. Uh, I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not a great Souls player, but I think Vigor is health. I could be wrong. Um, but I did hear that you can pick 
any class like again. And to be honest, I don't in Souls games I don't mind trying other classes. Um I think I'm gonna pick Vag Vagbond. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really decided, but I do like the Vagbond build. Um Prisoner looks nice too. Samurai. Nah. Because I already, I play so much Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> I think I'm going to pick Vagbond. I think I'm going to pick Vagbond for right now. And if I don't like it, then like when I record gameplay and you guys watch it, um, I won't be Vagbond. But just for this walkthrough, I mean just for this um, gameplay preview, I'm going to pick... Um, Vagbond. Let's see. So my last guy on Demon Souls was Jericho. So we're gonna go with Jericho. Body type. Let's do buff, whatever. I'm young, so let's do young. Uh okay, yeah. Let me look what they look like. Oh I do like I do like the warrior though. Nah the warrior is clean. It's just his stats. <laughs> now the warrior is clean. You know what? Okay, for this video, I think I'm gonna try warrior because I really want to do those do do um duels do. Oh my gosh, can I speak? The dual swords, like it looks dope. All right, so let's see keepsake. Let's just look at all these. All right, so Chrism. Amber medallion, so medallion inlaid with chrism and amber, so it increases your maximum HP. Um, used to gain many ruins, set to reinforce sacred flask, container for certain stone items, can only be used to okay, set to originate from the demon god, boost physical damage negotiation. Tracks the enemy's aggression. Now, honestly, definitely gonna go with the max HP. Uh, let's see. Now, I gotta detail my guy out. Sure. Alright. <clears throat> um, let's see. So. I'm going to just show you guys all the customization that's in the game. Just if you're curious. Uh, I mean, honestly, it really doesn't matter what, what skin color I am. <laughs> but I'm just going to do this. Uh, let's see. So we got bone structure. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with this face. Okay, then we have... Form emphasis. We have appearance age. Uh, facial aesthetic. This is male to female, so I won't change under that. We have face structure balance. So these are the balance. This face structure. I'm not gonna change all that because most of the time I'm gonna be wearing like a helm or whatever. So you see all the options here. Then we have hair. Definitely gotta change the hair. Let's see what we got. I like these hair options. I like how the graphics look too. I might pick this, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so these are the girl stuff. I'm kinda going near this one. Or this one. I like this one. Like I said, I can change it later. Doesn't really matter to me too much. I'm not gonna do too many white hairs. Even though I do think white hairs is dope though. Alright, so we got the eyebrows. See the options we oh well you can't really see my face. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick uh I like I like these bushy ones. Okay. <clears throat> then we got the beard. So I got a beard in my guy. Of 
course I gotta do a full beard, but I like, I like this one. We got eyelashes. So like I said, this is basically showing you guys all the customization in the game right now. You know, I want to make sure you guys see everything in the game right now. Uh, so we got pores and skin luster. So it's really detailed. It's a really detailed game. You got stuff for the ladies and men. Eyeliner stuff, eyeshadow, cheek, lipstick. I'll leave all that blank. We got some tattoos. Okay. See now again, you can't see. That's oh, that's that's one of the bad things though. Is you can't really see my face. So I might. I'm not gonna lie. I might change the hair. Or actually, okay. So apparently, you can change your hair like when you go to a mirror. So it's perfectly fine. We can change all that. Um, we're right now. I love this one. Well, even though you can't really see it. We got an eye patch. Okay. Alright. So now we got the body. We got the head. Chest, admin, arms, legs, body hair. favorites all right y'all so i mean it's in the souls games there's there's a good amount of customization but your face wise you don't really gotta customize too much so i think we're hitting a cut scene possibly but yeah so like i said you're gonna see me struggle I'm not the best souls game player so this is very novice this is very novice the inter intermediate i want to preface that again Let's go. The fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered in our home. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Now, ye tarnished, ye dead, who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. For alone, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant. Gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ogmir. The all knowing. Again, 
blessed. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. To stand before And become the Elden Lord. Alright, y'all. <clears throat> so we're looking good right now. Alright, so um, let me show you guys the menu real quick. Let me make sure everything's set up good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, uh, let me show everything set. Alright, cool. So, let me show you guys the menu real quick, just in case you haven't seen it. Uh, we're going to start from the bottom. I just want to make sure I got the frame rate. Okay, cool. Just make sure, I got to make sure it's 60. Or at least it's not 30 yet. I don't know, since I got the PlayStation 5 when it came out, I can't play in 30 no, no more. I'm sorry, excuse me. I can't, I don't know. Um, so, we got the level, all that regular stuff. Just basic, um, like form software type of game. Uh, so the inventory, again, basic stuff from software. Got our weapon. Uh, let me show you equipment. So this is our equipment right now. Just the base stuff: glove, cow, vest, warrior, gauntlet, greaves, medallion. So that's a race HP. Then we got the dual swords. Like I said, I just wanted to try to do a sword. Like I said, um, I might, like, like I said, when I play this game, I probably won't be recording gameplay. Like, I won't, probably won't be talking over it, because I'll just be chilling and just playing. So, um, yeah, if you guys see me with a different build when I upload the videos, then just, it's cool. Let's go. Uh, so, okay, so, let's read the message first. Through the path he broke an uncertain claim he placed as Elden Lord. Okay, so we got the tarnished wiz wiz wiznen finger. Okay. So I gotta use the Xbox buttons. <laughs> okay, let me see something. Whew. Alright, man. Like I haven't played a Souls game in a minute though. <clears throat> it's been a couple months since I played uh since I, ooh. Wait man. I might have to take a picture of that. It looks fire. It looks fire. And like I don't know, this game just looks amazing. Well, not amazing. Okay, not amazing. Let me chill out. <laughs> it looks really good, though. Like, it looks a lot. It looks great. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, um. Yeah. Just taking it in. This looks really good, though. Um, and it's open world. Like I said, I think it's the first open world. You know, these games, you gotta check everything, see what's in these boxes. And it's a jump. Nah, I could be totally wrong. Like I said, I've only beaten Dark Souls, and I played half of Demon Souls, but I don't think there's any jump in either of them. I think that's one of the things that people's been complaining about. It's like, where's the jump button, you know? I got a camera. It looks beautiful. Like I said, not the best, but I'm pretty sure we're creeping on our first enemy. The frame rate, the game looks really good. Um, now this is on the Series S, not the X. Um, but I've heard there's really no difference between them. Um, 
There might be a like. There's no stable 60 frames per second yet. For, for people who care about 60 frames per second and stuff like that. There's no, um, you know, strong, stable 60 frames on anything. Now, obviously, they're probably going to fix that later on. But for right now, for people who really, really care about 60-60, like, it has, to be, it has to be 60, then, yes, that's a problem for you. Just checking everything. Like, if you usually watch my gameplay, I explore a lot. Like, I have to explore every inch sometimes. <laughs> Just to make sure I'm not missing anything good, you know? Um, okay, so here's the map. With the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacon lights to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through the map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay, great. Now, now we're only at one part of the map, so I'm not gonna show us everything. But I haven't looked at the map. Like I tried to avoid that, but I did hear I did hear it was big. So might be in for a treaty. Alright. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out his moves first. What what he got? What he's working with? I think it's just one move. Yeah, just that. Oh, God. Okay, so we're only doing, and we have no health yet, so. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I gotta get back into the Souls games, because I gotta start getting patient again. <laughs> God. Well, <laughs> that didn't last too long. But I'm, I'm pretty sure there has to be one person that's beaten him. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order.
Alright, so we got the Flash of Chrisman Tears. Now I'm gonna assume that this is, uh, health. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get used to playing this game again. <laughs> I gotta get used to these buttons again, man. I am very, um... Here we go. I am very, um... What's the word? I am very, like, I haven't played one of these games in a minute. Uh, the cave and all its ties below. Spirit. Brave tarnish, take the plunge of learning and ember, rem remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Should we take it? Should we? Oh my god. Now, this is huge already. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm really messing up. And plus, um, I'm scared to go down there. Okay. Alright, so I'm not gonna show too much. Um, revisiting a site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status alignments. It, can, it will also refill your escape sacred flask. However, most of the enemies you defeated will re be revived. You can find sites of grave grace by going where light converges. So basically, uh, this is basically the bonfire. This is basically the bonfire. Yeah, now I heard, okay. So you can pass time, flash, short, short chest. Okay. Yeah, so that was the HP. I was just using it up. Memorize spells. So spells you can memorize sorcerers and incarnations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries. Yeah, I definitely will be casting. Um. Alright, let's go. First guy down. Use an arrangement, arrangement in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Okay. Hit me. You can avoid, but she does dodging. I talked about earlier, finally got some jumping. Got some, oh. Acquired materials, what's this? In every corner of the lands between you can find you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Alright. Now I'll probably just show the rest of this dungeon and then I'll probably uh cut it. Cause I don't want it to be like a whole hour or something because it's just a little um, gameplay preview just show you guys what it looks like each hand can be equipped with three up to three arrangements uh, allowing the toggle between them okay so that's with both hands Let's 
Let's see what he's working with. Dang. You gonna hit me? Alright, nice. So far, I'm kind of liking this build. Especially with the dual sword. Wanna get a nice parry. Ah. What you gonna do now? I'm trying to get a parry or something. Arraignments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from graphical attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consume FP. Alright. Yeah, I know I'm new to Xbox, but then I just press the LT. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you. Especially effective and tall. Okay, nice. Nice. We got some stealth elements. Some attacks may break your enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical attack. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold RT to jump attack, to charge attack. R2 or jump in, jump attack. Let me try it again, hold up. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you have visited. However, if there is a stake of Mareka near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Alright. Transverse the mist. I guess, I'm guessing it's a boss fight. Yeah. From a counter attack. Immediately after blocking. Alright, yeah. Oh. That's pretty easy. Oh! See something. I wanna try to, I, I wanna try to duel. Let's 
ますかそう、みんなが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、ボスベルが言うと、Nice. Alright, so I think that was a pretty good example of just what the game looks like、uh, right now. It's about 2 o'clock.、Uh, I'm gonna upload the video right when I、um, end this. But like I said, I will be recording more gameplay. Probably not after this though.、Um, I'm gonna try to grind a little bit, try to see where I can farm,、um, just to test out this build a lot, a little bit more. But、um, this was fun. It's,、um, it feels like Dark Souls 3 gameplay.、Um, this build might be a little faster than what I've ever when I've tried. I never played Sekiro, any of stuff like that.、Um, so my impression so far after like 37 minutes. It's really, or I guess you could say 30 minutes because seven minutes probably took the creation we talked at the start.、Um, but so far, I mean, it's, I mean, I love Souls games. I just don't play them too much. You know what? If that makes sense, I like the lore and stuff of the Souls games, but I don't, I haven't played that many of them. I've only played two.、Um, so yeah. Oh, well, this will be my third one, but yeah. So,、um, So, more videos will be coming from this, but this is just a gameplay preview to show you guys what it looks like. So, catch you guys in the next videos. Peace.